Okay. First things first. Um, I finally got connected to my bro Thor, who originally I met here. Everybody knows this. Waco, it burned. We rose. I the fire. He the I don't know. Uh, bright shit you think about when everything else is burning to the ground. Uh, but now we are connected to this diagram that everyone has been thinking about. This is me, Mr. Sue She. Uh, I'll take on a different name now. To match my new opponent, Mr. Sushi of Japan. Okay, so see, Mr. Sushi out of the ashes comes the casket, right? Anyway, enough of these terrible gloves. Well, you know what? There's something to point out. telling you. When I listen, and I listen with my brother properly, things that are whacked out and wild can happen. Like these masks, for example. I'm going to uh, explain this. 
And, uh, hey, I wanted to say something. Disney Corp. You should uh, consider hiring me for Black Wizard. Uh, I'm not going to create any uh, uh, tension with whoever the current Black Wizard is. I'm just saying uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice is very real with me. And I've made you a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. Uh, so I will say in advance, uh, appreciate the generosity on uh, just letting my stuff flow or whatever. So, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure you made way, way, way more money than this is uh, getting you the ads uh, uh, are right there, might even add, add up or whatever. But, anyway, some of the people are probably wondering, what's wrong um, with uh, the Cobra Commander's head? And, uh, you know, why does he wear a mask? The answer is, uh, it's a conceptualization. I, there are so many different groups that follow me. Um, and my cosmetic difference from what I originally am is so vastly different. It wouldn't make sense. Like, for example, I'm black and I'm the blackest wizard. And I said that I meant that. So, there is no wizard like me. And uh, then people say, okay, well, what's this that you're wearing? Well, it's just a leather hat. It's a, just a traditional leather hat. Um... Uh, and so then I take off the hat, right? And they say, well, why don't you have a helmet? Well, that's because I have brain worms. And with the brain worms, it's hard to, you never really get them out. You can just kill them and maintain a, a, a specific diet, but that's no fun. Because then we can just bring them back to life if they get a good enough diet. Right? Well, then you ask, well, why is the commander's uh, head shaped like that? Why is it shaped like that? Why is he not wearing a helmet? When you add these things together uh, with the uh, uh, screaming and ravings of a madman, it would make more sense if it was a screaming, irate woman over those kinds of things, because any man can manage a military maneuver, especially when nobody's doing anything to begin with. So, what will happen is, the back part where the commander was attempted to have been assassinated by a baseball bat will be cracked intentionally, and the brain worms that are close will be surgically removed because it is open. The blood-brain barrier has already been breached, so why not get rid of the trash so that my brain can regrow uh, with some technology that is now actually available in the future or whatever, however you perceive time. I just add it all up. And then I tell people as best I can. And if I have a system in place for favors, then what I can do is I can teach people how to better themselves. So that's why the commander doesn't have a helmet on. It's a thing that when the commander is taken care of, in the future, the commander will have it for a specific reason. And that's for the healing portion. Well, my brain is regrowing again. <laughs> 
Uh, by the way, I'm all the way evil, and I'm using it for good. And uh, I am with my Brothor. Uh, we're gonna make things magical happen that are good because we know all the worst, or say we do. We know some things here. Some other people know some things there, but mostly the dead people that were our families and friends. Uh, for me, it was mostly family-related. Uh, that's how I felt. And for my bro, Thor, it was mostly friend-related. Um, uh, uh, you know, but uh, uh, uniting together with the opposites uh, uh, now in, in, in focus... You know, uh, we unite and then everybody just goes their separate ways and gets rich or whatever. Um, uh, we together will be opening up doorways for brothers who set aside old serious problems that could never be let go once and for all. And then the town portals will open. Ultimate commerce or whatever. And we will save all the children that we can. Um, but the problem of who's doing all this still persists. And nobody wanted uh, me meddling in it, so... Uh, um, I will take my people that are in it, and uh, we will be done with this. So... Uh... Here's something that was missing. Um, some people trying to destroy America again. Uh, space weapons left on top of a military equipment case on purpose by a saboteur to make America look bad. The Taliban are in possession and know what they do at the time of this message. Um, so if you're next to Afghanistan um, and and something has gone through an airport, you have ICERs invalidating your judge systems from this point forward. Um, uh, because the Taliban uh, uh, don't have any system for what to do with these things. So if a lot aren't recovered, and there's a lot anyway, uh, this is just letting you know that there's other things now out there. There's other sources of these things. So total accusations going around are impossible uh, without proper perspective or something. Um, yeah, so... Uh, And I guess I lost that one. Anyway, um, so uh, here's the thing. I'll let you watch this for a little bit. Uh, this is uh, for Disney Corp. Um, if I control all the evil, I can use it to wipe out the nasty once and for all, and maybe it'll just equal out. And then um, uh, I guess um, we can have that future that you can imagine. So it looks fake on the outside, but uh, what if uh, uh, one day it could be real on the outside and change just that fast?
doorway, uh, Oklahoma Memorial. We're tracking now. I'm talking about space doorway plans. For those who are really following the creation of what I'm cooking. Oil. Come back in time to get rich? There's no money in the future. There is. Currency. Wait. Someone's out there. They may rule serpents. Never. Because when there's a problem, serpents get angry.
just just throw the, all the evil away forever. And then it will never be a problem for anyone. Uh, anyway, um, uh, I could do this with my brother who can find anything like a key to fix a existential issue. Like, if you exist, you have the right to exist because you do exist. That's what Widow Commander says. You know what? Let's talk about Widow Commander for a minute. Uh, let's see. Um, ooh. Yeah. Just call me Snake Eyes. Okay. If you can figure out where that's from, then you know one of the possible people that Widow Commander could be. Now, Widow Commander is obviously very wonderful because uh, he took over when Cobra Commander couldn't manage mentally and gave great advice and people did wonderfully. And this in, it was because of enrichment. Um, and uh, Widow Commander is still around, so let's uh, call in Widow Commander for uh, a great transformation. And right, so. A lot of people don't realize, because they just don't know the commander at all, uh, uh, that years ago, the Emperor of Japan uh, came in for a photo shoot. By the way, uh, there's actually like nothing important on that piece of paper he's holding. It was just something in order to get a picture taken, so that this could happen years later. And he could be alerted that he had made a deal with somebody uh, to stand by G.I. Joe, the pigeon, okay? Uh, and I, G.I. Joe, uh, and I would try to imbue him with a power uh, uh, of a icer that uh, would generate uh, a strange perception of most honor in Japan because he's the emperor and we understand how that works uh, at least when uh, you know the fire and the ice are uh, together uh, the um, uh, Cobra Commander Blue and Cobra Commander Black and don't call me Cobra Commander Black I'm G.I. Joe, the commander of the people of Cobra. All right, back to uh, Space Doorway to Save the World. Now, uh, this when this was showing up on Google, all seven of these little coin thingies, that meant that the Dragon Balls had been found, and this thing was uh, going to get underway, okay? And everybody in their little group is going to get whatever it was that they were after, or whatever. That's good, bad, and whatever, because uh, people confuse evil for uh, bad or good, and then Nazis for Nazis. That's the guys in the uniforms for the guys in the versus the guys in the suits and the guys in the uh, aprons and the guys in the um, uh, I guess you'd call them uh, doctor suits or doctor lab coats and then the other lab coats doing bad things, which. Uh, 
even evil has not been handling. So who has been? I guess they've just been uh, growing out of control or whatever. But anyway, uh, we do have Mr. Sushi uh, interfering with the Emperor's honor in some way, which I don't really understand. But uh, I will say this. Uh, Mr. Sushi hates hate crimes against fans of Japan in general whenever they get their kill order from the Intelligence Covenant. Uh, that is what I do know. And uh, they did that. So uh, Mr. Sushi, um, I will speak to his benefit because I respect Japanese culture and place or whatever, and this, Mr. Sushi you ruined it, but only temporarily, I hope, uh, because of the deal with the uh, Emperor of Japan. Now, through the Yakuza, Mike Shinoda, really cool guy, does great music, brings us together, um, uh, we know that, uh, uh, the stateless Cobra commander is not really a threat to Japan because the Yakuza get involved. And uh, since the Yakuza um, have already basically said, yo, you're good with Shinoda, because this one time I met Shinoda with Linkin Park, uh, uh, you know, and I told him he was my favorite member at the time, but I was, like, younger, so... Anyway, the point is, is that, um, we go way back, um, and everybody knows that we were working on this, and Mr. Sushi is not doing the right thing. He's supposed to be, like, my new friend. Instead, he's killing me. Things are wrong. Very wrong. Anyway, uh, back to the whole evil thing. Uh, for those of you who don't know me at all, <clears throat> we're about to redo shedding a lot of this gear for symbols and stuff like that is <clears throat> it allows me to grow into the reality of what I have always been facing my entire 